So I've got another best of 2017 for you today. We're talking all about eyes. We're gonna do eyebrows, eyeshadows, eyeliners, and mascaras. So if you're interested in hearing what my favorites were for 2017, then just keep on watching. So let's start with eyebrows. Uh, you guys know what I'm about to say. So the Tom Ford Fiber Brow Gel, hands down my absolute favorite eyebrow product. It's just easy to use, which is so key, especially when it comes to eyebrows. I don't want to sit there and pencil in my eyebrows for hours. I just don't have time for that. I'd rather spend more time on the rest of my face. So this is a quick swipe. It keeps my very long eyebrow hairs in place. Um, and even though I have long eyebrow hairs, they're very sparse. And the fibers in this kind of fill it all in. And it's just great. And it keeps it in place without feeling crunchy. I really hate like a crunchy, crunchy, um, brow gel that just I just feel like I feel it all day and I feel like it's gonna start to flake off and I don't like that and this doesn't have that at all this feels more like a pomade versus a gel but it's absolutely wonderful there are rumors that this is being discontinued so I've already purchased a backup I think this one is actually running pretty low so anyway this is my this is my favorite eyebrow product from last year two others worth mentioning are pencils so I pretty much kind of go back and forth between these two depending on what mood I'm in um, the hourglass arch brow sculpting pencil I have it in soft brunette this is the one that has the longer angled tip and it has nice kind of fat spoolie at the other end and I just love it I love the uh, consistency of it it's very uh, waxy so it's really hard to to get too much product down I am NOT a very bold brow person I'm a child of the 90s so I really like a sort of natural just kind of like you know like filled in neat looking brow I don't like it too crazy and this really fits the bill and then the Surratt eyebrow pencil this one is more of a point so I feel like if I do want to do a little bit more of a bolder brow and really fill in little hairs um, this is really great for that and it has a little bit of a softer consistency versus the hourglass so I have to be a little bit more careful with this and it has it also has a spoolie at one end this is a refillable cartridge so uh, once you're done with it you just sort of unscrew the top and you buy a refill and kind of screw it back in and I do like that um, aspect of it as well but I like this little precise tip it is very very nice if you do want to draw like little kind of like faux hairs it's great for that so those are all my eyebrow products worth mentioning and then I'm just gonna get mascara out of the way because I only have one and this is something uh, I guess I changed my mind about. I think I mentioned this when I hauled it. I got this during the Nordstrom anniversary sale way earlier in the year. And I was like, it's okay. You know, it's a mascara. It doesn't, it's not um, special. It didn't seem special in any way when I first used it. But what I love about this now that I've had a little bit more experience with other mascaras is how great this mascara is from the moment you open it until now and I still have it and it's probably I don't even know how long six months later it's just great usually for me mascaras like I really like the better than sex I've liked the L'Oreal Lash Paradise but there's like a sweet spot you open it up and it's too wet and then maybe a week later it kind of hits its like hits its stride and it's great and then a few weeks later after that all of a sudden it's flaking on you which of course you don't realize until you're out in the middle of the day lovely and you know it's just falling all over the place and I feel like god you know it's just you know there's such a short time period that most mascaras perform perform well and this Tom Ford has performed the same from the day I opened it till right now which is like I said months and months later so that I think says a lot about this mascara. This is the Extreme Mascara. I don't even know if I mentioned that. This is the Extreme Mascara. This is the one that's been out for a long time. I know with the um, Tom Ford Eyes release with the private eyeshadows and the eye gloss and all of that, that he released a whole bunch of other mascaras that I haven't tried yet. Um, but this one is just like a workhorse. It's just great. I think it's very, very dependable and I'm not gonna have, so far I haven't had that surprise of like flakiness randomly coming down my face. So I have a lot of like respect for this mascara. It's really, really awesome. So I have two eyeliner, I guess formulas you could say, that I really, really enjoy. There are some other eyeliners out there that I started playing with that I like a lot, but they didn't make the cut for this year. You'll probably see them in, in probably like a future favorites or uh, my 2018 favorites but for this past year 
it has been mostly the Ardency in Monster, like supercharged, what's the full name? Smooth Ride Supercharged Eyeliner. And these are, I have this in, <clears throat> excuse me, I have this in like black and coffee, which is like a dark brown. These pencils are smooth, they go on easily, they're very, very pigmented. Like this black is so black, like goes on just like that. I didn't press hard, nothing, so opaque. And these pretty much don't move on me all day. Once they set down, it's almost like they're like permanent marker. They're just there and I love that. And the one that I found recently that a friend recommended to me, these are the Tom Ford Eye Coal Intense um, and this is in metallic mink and I also have it in <clears throat> navy, I think is what it's called. Is it called navy? Maybe midnight, a dark blue. And then I have a metallic moss and I love these for the exact same reason as the RNC in ones. They're really soft, smooth, um, pigmented, they go on, they don't budge, um, but I like these because these colors have a little something going on, like this metallic mink, I don't know if it's coming across, but it's brown, but it has like a little bit of like um, like a copper in it. The metallic moss has like a metallic sheen. The Ardency In ones, I think that they have some metallic shades, but it's like gold or like silver. Um, so their colors are just much more straightforward, matte, um, you know, black, brown, blue, green, etc. where the Tom Ford has like a little something to them. So. All right, so let's talk about eyeshadows. Let's start with eyeshadow singles. Uh, the first one I want to mention is the Pat McGrath Dark Star Kit, and it was full of single shadows, but the one that stood out to me that I absolutely love, and I was so happy when she re-released this um, kit uh, this past month, is the Mercury Pigment. And this is what it looks like. It is such a glorious, like, taupey metallic shade. It's so wet looking. It's glittery looking without being glittery at all. It just is like, it's just a really, really cool eyeshadow. I just absolutely love it. I would have probably used it a little bit more, but because it was limited edition, I didn't want to kind of keep pushing it, but it may still be available on her site. I know she re-released a whole bunch of her kits. Uh, next up is the Tom Ford uh, Cream and Powder Eye Color in Young Adonis. This came out during the Soleil collection earlier in the spring. So this is the one that's in the, the duo container. It has the topper on top and it has the cream shadow here at the bottom. I like the ease of this. This cream shadow is really beautiful. It's this taupe color. And then the topper shade on top, that's on my ring finger here, is a really pretty, um, just that. It's like a nice topper shade. So if you just wanna add a little bit of glitz to this uh, cream color, I just pat this right on top and you get like a little bit more of like a reflective vibe there. It's just, it's really nice. It's really subtle. I think it's perfect for summer, you know, when you kind of want like your healthy tanned skin to kind of come through. This is really great. It just adds just a little something, a little bit of polish to your look. Very beautiful. Um, and while we're on the topic of Tom Ford, I'm just going to mention these private eyeshadows. I really, really love these. Um, I just picked this one out. This is one of my favorites. This is the warm leatherette color in the vinyl finish. They're just beautiful. Super, super smooth and satiny and the color payoff is just gorgeous. Look at that. It's like a really beautiful copper shade. So this is warm leatherette and vinyl. I love all of the five finishes that he came out with. I think the paillettes is a little bit more difficult to work with. That one is a topper type of formula, but the other four formulas are just, are really straightforward, absolutely gorgeous. The ultra suede, suede, I think sateen and uh, this vinyl finish. Gorgeous, I absolutely love them. And then last but not least, I have the Chanel um, shadows that came out uh, earlier this year. So the Ombre Premier, which is like the cream potted shadow, this is like an update to the um, Ombre Illusion, Illusion de Ombre, something like that. Anyway, the Illusion de Ombre, I felt like that was a softer, spongier type of texture, where this is a much more kind of like, um, I don't know, like a like a potted clay almost kind of texture, like a putty. And it's just, I like it a lot more. The Illusion de Ombre was, I think just, it's a, it was like a little bit too soft. I like knowing that this goes on really smoothly and it kind of just like stays put. It's a really long wear kind of cream eyeshadow. And 
That is the color. And, oh, an undertone. I don't know if I mentioned that. Undertone is the color that I'm really, really loving. So there is undertone. Really beautiful taupe. It's what I have all over my eyes today. Then they also came out with the Ombre Premier Longwear Powder Eyeshadow, and these were the single shadows um, that came in the compact. So this is the color Sable, and this is what I have like on the inner corners of my eyes there. Really, really pretty. I just, I loved the formula. I loved uh, the color range that came out with this. The um, pigmentation is there. They blend beautifully. And again, they are really, really long wear. They're like one of those shadows you can take a nap in and wake up and it looks exactly the same. That's the kind of eyeshadows these are. All right, and last but not least, we've got eyeshadow palettes. And I'm just gonna breeze through the first three that I wanna mention because we just did a top five Tuesdays on eyeshadow palettes and these three appear in there. So I've got the two Natasha Denona palettes, the Lila palette and the Sunset palette. I love them both. They are like what everyone says. They're just beautifully pigmented. They are stunning, beautiful arrangement of colors. I just, I love the formula of Natasha Denona shadows, all of them. I like the mattes. Um, I like the, you know, more metallic shades. The Lila palette, I really love. I really, really love. I think I like a little bit more than the Sunset palette, um, but absolutely gorgeous. Um, and then also the Bare Minerals Hidden Treasure palette. I think I have talked about this one quite a bit, but this one is just the perfect everyday kind of nude, basic eye look. This is like when you feel like, you know, I just I just need to throw something on. I don't have time to be super creative or go nuts or whatever. This is the palette for you. So, okay, so I totally lied. I, the first four palettes I wanted to mention actually appear in my top five Tuesdays. So this is the Pat McGrath Subliminal palette. I love this one. I have all three and I love all three, but this one I reach for the most only because it has the most neutral sort of everyday shades. So if I don't feel like doing something, you know, really va va voom, this one comes in super handy. Again, I won't go into too much detail about these because they all appear in that Top 5 Tuesdays video, which I will try and remember to link above here. So anyway, moving on. I have three palettes here that I don't mention in my absolute best of Top 5 Tuesday video, but these came out this year and I really love them. This is the first one I believe I picked up. Um, this may have been at the end of last year, but I used this a lot in January, I remember, and, you know, all throughout the year. But this is the Vizier Petite Pro palette, and I, I just absolutely love this little palette. It's like credit card, business card size. It is really, really petite, and it has um, four matte shadows on the top row and four shimmer shades on the bottom row. This is like the best travel companion ever. It's just awesome. And of course you can like pop out these pans if you want. They're magnetized. They come out very, very easily and you can kind of create your own if you want. And they're just, they're really small. They're much, the pans are much smaller than like the typical Viseart pans. And I think they're just great. It's a really great um, arrangement of colors, array of colors. The um, shades are definitely more on the warmer side, but I just, I love this. This is, I think, so handy. And I think if you are tempted to try Viseart shadows, but maybe you're a little bit intimidated by the price point of the larger ones, this one is, I think, the way to go. Because again, you get to test out their mattes and their satiny, shimmery shades, and it comes in this really handy dandy little case. So I think, you know, you'll, you'll find reason to bring it with you everywhere. And it even has like a little mirror up here. It's just wonderful. I just love this one. So that's the Viseart Petite Pro palette. And then Viseart also came out with their warm matte palette, and this one is amazing. So I have most of the Viseart uh, 12 pan palettes. This one, I think, comes in for me like right behind the neutral matte palette, which is probably my favorite. But this one is just amazing. It's just like full of transition shades. So this to me is like the perfect companion for any of those palettes that you have that you feel like maybe just don't have the right transition or brow bone highlight or, you know, just like it's missing a few colors, I feel like this comes in and kind of saves the day. So this one I always use as either like an all over or like an under the brow bone just to define my brow a little bit. And then again, you've got all these transition shades and then you can kind of like have some fun with these shades over here on the right hand side. So this is a really, really great palette. Viseart matte formula, 
there's not much more I can say that hasn't already been said, but it's amazing. It blends, it's pigmented. There are no surprises, you know, they're just, they're just beautiful, beautiful shadows. And then last but not least, um, this is a palette that I have really, really loved. And again, I haven't talked about it too much because it is limited edition. I think it's still available somewhere in some places, maybe in store at Ulta. But anyway, this is the NARS Loaded palette. And I just love it. I think I've gotten really great smoky everyday, like neutral but smoky kind of looks out of this. Just really gorgeous. I like that there's some mattes or some shimmers. Um, this black is like super black. Um, and then this is like kind of a shimmery golden shade, which is great. Like on the inside of your lids, maybe an inner corner highlight. It's just wonderful. I think, you know, when I first looked at this, I thought, okay, you know, very typical or whatever, but you get some really beautiful uh, looks out of this because you have some like warmer colors here, but then you have some like cooler neutrals here. So there's just a really nice kind of range of shades in here. And I just love it. The formula is great. They all blend really, really nicely. So I've been loving this. And so that is it for my best of 2017 eyes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe down below if you haven't already. Uh, please comment down below what your favorite eye products were for this past year. I would love to hear what you've been loving. And I will see you in my next video.